What's up guys, it's Alonza here, Hip and Creative. Thank you so much for joining me today. So in today's video, I want to share with you my planner tassels that I created about two weeks ago. Um, and I did share them on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm sharing it with you today, but I would love it if you head on over to my Instagram and just follow me and just say a quick hello and just check out the stuff that I share on there. So without further delay, I am gonna show you the first tassel that I made. It's this black and white tassel here. And I think it's gorgeous. I am absolutely in love with it. And I think that it's a very, very simple project to do. If you are interested in me making a DIY video for you, definitely leave me a comment down below letting me know you're interested. Other than that, I'm going to just show you what I did here and kind of talk it through. And uh, let me show you the back first. So what I did was I looped several different ribbon designs through as long as they were matching in color they were either black white black and white it doesn't matter um, it's whatever you make of it I did add some silver because I do have some sil silver accents here so I added the silver ribbon to tie everything in and what I did was I took some of the um, yarn and I just looped it through a couple times and then I did glue it using my hot glue gun and then I did stick this bow here I just created a bow and then quickly stuck it to the front of the ribbon tassel. And then I have this, this is from the Target Dollar Spot Valentine's Collection. On the other side it has the red. If that bothers you, you can actually take two red, I'm, I'm sorry, two silver uh, hearts and then glue them together. And then you can glue that onto here or you can turn it around and show the red instead of the silver like I did here. Now this bottom here is a chain that I've had already on hand. And this charm here came in a set of two, and I believe I paid $1.97 for them. And this was many, many years ago from AC Moore on clearance, and I've had them for a very, very long time. And then I just adhered or attached a loop, uh, what do you call these, jump rings, and this chain here, and then the lobster claw. Now, if I were to do this again, which I am going to be doing again, I would use a larger lobster claw. This one's a little too small for my... Uh, planner that I'm using and I do have another set here I want to share with you this one is attached this one is attached to my um, binder here that I'm using for personal planning and uh, I have all these pink versions so as you can see it's a very big contrast in design as far as the color and this one's slightly thicker because I have more pink ribbon and pink lace than I do have black and I just love the sleekness of this one and the puffiness of this one I think it's very very pretty I did add a little bit of gold to this one um, I thought it was very very cute to add that and uh, very quickly I'll show you what this one has now the difference between this one before I show you the book the difference between this one and this one is that with this bow I did a, a thicker bow up top here and instead of using the heart, I decided to use the extra ribbon of Princess on here. And I just used hot glue and glued everything together in the back as well. Now if you don't want to see the markings of where the ribbon ends, you can definitely use this as the front of your ribbon and just adhere the bow to the front here. Instead of how I did it this way. And then each one I have some ribbon, and then I have some gold string, then I had some pearls, then I have some sheer ribbons, and some lace and everything kind of falls together very pretty. Now, like I was saying a minute ago, on the inside I do have it attached here via the lobster claw, but it doesn't fully work. You can't wiggle it around because the lobster claw is too small, but I am going to be looking for some larger lobster claws and then I'm going to be exchanging that for a bigger size. But I just want to show you guys what it would look like. So it kind of looks like this, and then I have to hook it in here and that doesn't fully close and I'm not able to move it as freely as I'd like. But I do like the length of the chain. I thought that was a good length because now when I close my binder, here it is just hanging down nice and full. And it makes it to the end of the binder here. So I just want to share these two with you. And like I said, this is, this is a very short video. I've made two different versions. And if you do want to see a DIY tutorial on how I made these, definitely let me know in the comments down below I would love to share this with you um, and uh, that's it guys so I hope you like this video if you did please leave me a thumbs up 
and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet make sure to subscribe I post new videos every week until next time guys I hope you all have a great day God bless and I'll see you guys in the next video bye